Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome back to a uh, special edition of uh, Showcase and Review here on uh, Christmas Eve, 9 o'clock. Um, I just want to update everybody that I got an unboxing here to do. Um, good friend of mine on here, Budget Jedi, uh, hooked me up. I could never find two figures on um, the uh, of the vintage wave that I'm collecting. I could never find Dak Ralter. And I could never find Darth Sidious, but um, yet after I got the box in the mail, I go to Walmart and see Dak Rolfer on the um, shelf. But it doesn't matter; I got him for the same price practically anyway. It's Darth Sidious, who I've never seen another one of. If anybody watching this see, has seen Darth Sidious around lately, let me know because I'm starting to think that he's pretty rare. I had to have uh, Budget Jedi pick him up at a comic shop for twelve dollars plus plus tax. I think it was. Um, Dak was on sale for six plus tax. I forgot the stores that he got them from, though. But, uh, <laughs> let's open this badass box up and complete the collection. Trusty scissors, because I can't find uh, my knife right now. So I'm going to have to use these scissors to have to cut it. Cut this tape off very carefully. I'm not cutting any of the packaging. I don't know how he's probably, hopefully, he's. Smart enough to wrap it all pretty good there. I think so. Um, I really appreciate this from Such a Jedi, but let's see here. Smash the box. You did a pretty good job here, budget. There we go. And uh, right on Christmas uh, Eve, too. Pretty nice. So, uh, there we have it. Um, Got the box open pretty good. Now let's see what he has uh, in store for me. Nice little Christmas wrapping paper there by budget. And here we go. Um, I'm seeing right away. Make sure that's all that's in here. on that one budget we talked about that so there we go and here we go the two figures that I needed to complete the uh, collection and he's put it in bubble wrap nice for me it looks like he's got nice carded figs for me too because he knows I don't like to open my figures I would if I had the money <laughs> and here we go both of them look like they've got the uh, tab punched but Oh man, I'm amazed to even see a Darth Sidious. But as I said, I had to pick him up for $12. So here's the two figures I have. Dak Ralter, which um, I'm going to grab him real quick. He goes right alongside Snow Speeder Luke. Which I think he's an ex-wing fighter pilot. But man, I mean, how close and identical. These two can be riding side by side in the vehicle together. And you wouldn't be able to tell who's Luke and who's Dak. I mean, that's how close these two are. This one's from the Saga Legends. This one is from the Vintage line. Um, super articulation. I'm thinking they're probably on the same line on articulation wise. I'm not too big on articulation knowledge. But, uh, yeah. Do they not go right alongside each other? That's what I've thought ever since I've seen the Dak. Um, the only difference I see is down here he's got gray straps. He's got white straps. Luke may be a tad shorter. Um, but sitting down, perfect. Uh, so let's just get Luke out of the way here and take a look at Dak Ralter first. Since I, yeah, I just see I go in there and I see him. The oh, almost lost the camera there. Sorry, I had to have the plug here. But uh, yeah, I go in the day to uh, Walmart that I hardly ever go to, and uh, there's Dak sitting there. So uh, I was like, figures the day that uh, I get the figure, I find him in the mail. I probably could have saved on some shipping though, but uh, that's okay. I really thank Budget Jedi for grabbing him. And I like he's kind of posed in the pack. That's kind of neat, you know. He's not just standing straight up like a pole. And it looks like he's got a blaster rifle in the back there. Uh, as I say, he's got his X-Wing fighter pilot gear on, I'm thinking, or snow speeder. Uh, somebody update me on what the difference. Is there any difference in the gear between snow speeder and X-Wing fighter pilot? I'm thinking no. But, yeah. And uh, here's the Luke 
right alongside for a close-up shot and even the helmets are similar and everything just different colors maybe that's the difference is the colors in the helmet I have no idea somebody can update me, date me on that and let me know because red means no speeder speeder pilot and this means uh, X-wing fighter pilot I don't know they could both be snow speeder as far as I know but uh, Dak Ralt they're part of the wave one I have now completed my wave one collection with this figure so uh, budget Jedi big ups to him check out his reviews they're awesome he makes badass dioramas um, all homemade and he can teach you how to do it collect on a tight budget like I'm on and everybody's on a budget these days it seems like when it comes to collecting and it has the same thing that it says up you know in the corner that all the vintage line says and I've read that so many times I don't want really want to first issue vintage Dak Rother card as you can see kinda like the uh, Echo Base Han Solo um, the vintage collection logo up to the right BC07 Dak Ralter to the left, nice picture of his card, and as you can see, boom, same card. Um, down here, other figures from the line, which I have everyone Darth Vader, Boba, Luke, and his bestman, Leia and her Hoth gear, and C3PO. Wish I could get another C3PO though, because my leg plates fell off in the package. I plan on doing a uh, review of, I don't plan on it, I am going to do a review on uh, waves one and two complete uh, series of um, vintage collection figures. It'll just gotta get time. Um, going back to school here on the 11th, hopefully I can get it done before that while I have the time. So be on the lookout for that uh, complete waves one and two of the vintage collection on um, tape and hopefully I can even get my uh, Mellow Way Boba Fett in which should be coming any time said six to eight weeks I'm thinking it could get here I've heard some people have got it in a month so I'm hoping it gets here anytime I'm not you know banking on it but uh, I'm hoping but there you have it for Dak Ralter and awesome thanks a lot budget I don't know I'm calling him budget you know <laughs> he's even got up on there Ed and slash budget Jedi so that's pretty cool Boston Massachusetts awesome man I, I didn't even know where he was really from either so that's cool um, the thing is about these two figures another thing I want to note is that I've had two friends budget Jedi now that I've figured he was in Boston and um, my friend hung one seven six eight eight he's a good friend of mine on here he's a good reviewer um, he's from New York um, New York area so um, they could not he can't he's never seen a DAC in a city since I've asked him to look and budget has just seen that one DAC and this Darth Sidious he got at a comic shop he said twelve dollars for this Darth which I I really you know hesitated the first second on paying that much but then I was like heck this is probably gonna be the same amount that I'm gonna pay for it end up paying for it on eBay because I've never seen one since I've seen him one time love the face on this guy look how creepy they got this guy looking he's laughing like so this would be a perfect um Darth Sidious for uh, Budget Jedi's scene in his diorama where he said he wanted a laughing version of uh, Darth Sidious so uh, there you go Budget uh, you should have grabbed another one to complete your diorama but twelve dollars, I don't know if you want to. Um, I owe them for these, so it looks like uh, down here it's got a comic shop stamp on here as well. So that's it's got the eleven ninety nine stamp on. I'll try try to peel that off and see if I can. Um, I might not even want to try to attempt to peel this off. It might peel off cleanly. It looks like it's gonna peel off cleanly. But as I'm peeling here, it says here on the package, I'm noticing that it is the first ever vintage Darth Sidious card. And yes, I was able to peel the sticker off quite clean. So there you go, budget. And let, if you're worried about that, well, got that right off. Um, so there you go. Um, 
you know, there it shows the same thing as always does, same vintage up in the corner, Dax was down here, other fix from the line was the Sand Trooper Grievous, Anakin Skywalker, Obi and the Clone Trooper, and as I said, uh, tune in, keep tuned in for the Complete Waves 1 and 2 reviewed, all in package, mint on card, um, I wouldn't say every card is in mint condition, some have a few, like, slight bend in the um, overall not an actual crease or a bend in the corners or anything but just the card seems like it's bowed or something on a few of them that's it other than that they're perfect um, but love to have da uh, Darth Sidious and Dak Ralter to complete waves one and two of my collection and I want to send a shout out big big shout out to the budget Jedi for hooking me up uh, there you have it um, shout out to Hung just because I've shouted him out in this vid. Um, check both their channels out as always. And uh, keep on the lookout for um, a lot more Star Wars reviews. The collecting never stops and always on a budget. Uh, as I said, $6 plus tax and $12 at a comic shop. I'm thinking he's rare. If anybody can tell me if they've seen him, other because we haven't seen him in Illinois, Massachusetts, or New York right now. So I'm wondering who else hasn't seen this guy. So he's harder than hell to find. Um, be on the lookout at another video that I'm going to be posting up either before or after this. Um, I have a few more figures that I picked up a nice haul for some Christmas. Um, a Christmas haul that I did. That Star Wars fig. So, uh, peace out everybody and uh, thanks budget. Later.